Hey, what's up guys? Stacking and Packing here, and it's everyone's favorite time of the month. It's the beginning of the month of August, so that means we have to go over July's finds. So we did really well in July. We found a lot of silver, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off with nine silver 90 percenters for the half dollars, and that was really good for this month. We did amazing with these walkers. We started off the month with a Walking Liberty collection dump, and we have a no date over here and no mint mark either. So that's our first one. And I think that's going to be our oldest one. It's either a 1917, I'm guessing, or a 1916. And then we have a 1917 here. And this one's going to be a San Francisco, as you guys can see that mint mark. And then we're going to move into our 40s. We got a 1943 over here. This one's definitely seen better days. And this one's going to be a Philadelphia. Now, usually when I do these recap videos, I have how many boxes I've went through, the total number in face value that I've went through. But my fiance has access to the spreadsheet. So I'll put that at the end of the video. I have no idea how to do any of that stuff. She's really good with that stuff. So 1945 San Francisco. And then another 1945. And this one's a Philly. So then we get into our Benjis. We got a 1963. And actually we got two 1963s. This one's going to be a Denver. And you guys know how much I love our Benjis. And then the nicer, at least I think nicer one. Another 1963. And it's also a Denver. And then we move on to our 1964s. We got a 1964. This was our Ender, if you guys remember. And it's going to be a Philadelphia. And then we're going to have another one. This was in that roll that was 226.5 grams. And it was really worn down, as you can tell by the edge. And I thought it was going to be a foreign, but it turned out to be a 90 percenter. So that was awesome. And let's get into our 40 percenters. So we're going to have two for the year 1965. So we'll take a look at both of those. And this one's kind of toned or dirty, whatever you guys want to call it. And this one just looks like it's been cleaned. So two, I'll take it. We'll put those to the side and we'll take a look at our 1966s. Two of those. And this one I think has something on it as well. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. And there we go with our other 1966. So we'll go ahead and put those to the side as well. Then we have 13 1967s. I won't show you guys all of those. We'll take a look at this one, which I think is probably one of the nicer ones. Has some edge toning, as you guys can see. And we'll take a look at that reverse. Really clean reverse. I mean, this thing is immaculate. And then we'll take a look at our 1968s. We have eight of those. And I'll show you guys the two nicest ones. This one's like blast white, really, really fantastic looking. And he has like a little smudge on his face, but I think that's something that could be cleaned off properly, of course. And usually you don't want to clean your coins off, but if you do it properly with the right tools, then when you get it graded, it will not be a cleaned coin. Let's take a look at that other 1968. And I'm not saying I'm going to get that coin graded. I'm just, it's just a pretty nice coin. So that's another nice one, Blast White. And I need a sip of water real quick. I'm talking a lot here. All right, now we can keep going. So we looked at our 68. So we got six 69s. And the nicest one is going to be the one that we missed. If you guys saw that last video. 1969 Denver here. This one's just beautiful. I mean, look at that toning on it. And it really looks amazing. Doesn't really have too many marks on it. So this is definitely a nicer, higher grade coin here. So glad we didn't miss this one totally. And as you can tell by the edge, I mean, I don't know how I missed that one. And then let's get into our proofs. We found a 1976 proof here. Only two for this month. Usually we find a little bit more. Well, at least two with a half dollars, I should say. 
and a 1990. So pretty cool. And we'll take a look at our proof quarter, which is a 1971 San Francisco. And this was from our box battle with Georgia Silver Hunter, which I had so much fun with that. And then we found two of these not intended for circulation, 1987 Denver, half dollars. And I do keep these usually. And these are the only not intended for circulation half dollars that I keep. And we'll take a look at the other one, which is another 1987 Denver. Both really nice condition. So we'll go ahead and put those to the side. And then usually I don't keep coins that aren't silver or the non intended for circulation, but or proofs, I should say. But this 1976 Bicentennial is beautiful. Now the obverse can definitely use a cleaning. And once again, a proper cleaning to get off some of that milk spotty looking stuff and if you look at the reverse i mean that thing is awesome it's toned up and it looks great i really like the reverse so that's what stuck out to me and then some more of our finds from the quarter box we got this 2015 homestead quarter and today we're using our screwdriver as a pointer and you can see it has the snowy roof and i mean this is a really exaggerated as example of a snowy roof as you can really see those die breaks on the roof and i don't really see a leaky bucket but you guys can let me know you might be able to see it right there it's it's hard to tell but really got that exaggerated snowy roof and then we have our delaware spitting horse as you guys can see. I wanna see if I can zoom in real quick. Yeah, there we go. And I'll use my pointer one more time here. If you can just look by the horse's mouth there and you see going to the A in Caesar, we have that spinning horse. So that's pretty cool. And then for one of my other finds, if I can pick it up here, I'm having a hard time. I don't wanna drop it there we go let's see if i can zoom in a little bit with this one the bear bear claw and this is the extra bear claw on the 2008 and now it doesn't want to focus 2008 alaska bear claw right there and my pointer i think is taking out of focus but you guys can see that it's a little extra piece of metal die chip there which causes that. So that's an awesome find. Really happy to have it. And then we'll take a look at this. If I can go back to regular zoom in here. Let's see. There we go. That worked perfect. Another quarter that I just thought was amazing condition. 2000 Virginia. Really just a beautiful quarter here. So I figured I'd keep it. And usually I don't keep coins like this. But I mean this thing is just immaculate no marks on it so i was like i'm keeping it and then we'll get into our drooling georges we got a couple of those that i'll show you guys as you can see and i'm going to zoom in one more time here for you guys right by george's the corner of his mouth he's drooling there that's a little bit of a die chip and it's kind of a popular one it's very abundant you can see right there there's another one and we'll take a look. This one he has Drooling George and he has the mark on his nose as well. So that's another one that there is. And over here we got Drooling George one more time. Now we did find some silver dimes this month. So let's go ahead into that. And that was a pretty funny story with our, when we were cashing in all of our coins. It's a long story to get into, but we found this 1952 San Francisco. This one might actually be one that I found under one of the machines. And a 1954 Denver. But, well, I guess technically I really found all of them under the machine. 1964 Philadelphia. But I go over that whole story in the video, the cornwall hunting video, and another 1964 Philadelphia. For the half dollars that I went through. 
after I dumped off those coins. And 1955 Weedy that I found under the machine as well. So yeah, those are the finds. I'm gonna have another video, well, not really another video, but another clip attached to this just going over the numbers for the month because I know you guys like seeing that. Okay guys, so to simply turn on notifications, all you're gonna do is come over to that subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed already, you're gonna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then if you are subscribed, it should look like this. And then you're gonna come over and you see that bell icon. You're gonna go down over here and you're gonna turn on all notifications and click that. And just like that, our bell is now filled in and you'll be getting all notifications for the channel. Hey so guys, so as you can see, our silver jar is empty and it's ready for the month of August. So let's go over our totals. Now these numbers could be off a little bit and not the totals of silver, but the averages because I think we were missing a hunt or two in our total number searched. But what we had was $7,500 searched and that comes out to 15 boxes of half dollars. We also did a box of quarters. So that's on there as well, but that's not included in this total. And we had nine 90 percenters, 31 40 percenters with an average of 2.67 silvers per box. Now that number is off a little bit too, because we did find quite a bit of silver from the teller trays. So that was definitely a bonus there. But anyways, that's our totals for the month of July. So definitely looking forward to the month of August to see what we find in August. Very excited for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below, as well as leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on next month's recap video.